let's have a look at Cluey or in general as a tour. What you see is we've got a map, we've got an observations list, and above that I have the title of my group. If I click on the title, I get to my groups list and I can select any of the groups that I'm working in. I can do the same through the menu, which is on the left hand side. I can look at my groups, which is the list I just shown. I can download maps if I want. I can download the map section right here. So this is actually the area I would like to download. And I start downloading it. I give the region a name, nearby home, and I save it. Now it's downloading the area, which is very handy because if I go into the field, I won't have connectivity probably, but I still have my maps with me. So I have a good level of detail on my phone in case I go offline. I can look at my settings and account which is sometimes very handy because here I can remember what my username was. I can see the email that I used to create my Cluey account. I can share my exact location if I want that. And I can have a look at the queue. The queue means actually now it is empty, but if the queue is full, it means that there's data on your phone, which has not been shared yet with the backend. If you want to share it, make sure you have the connected mode on so that your data can be streamed. As soon as you switch it on, your data will be streamed and your queue will be emptied. On top you see an icon which actually allows you to switch between the map and the satellite. I can put on tracking, I allow, I put on tracking, I see many different types of tracking which I can customize in my group definition. I can specify my team size, we are with six, and it's a morning drive, and I start. With this one, I can simply zoom in to myself, put myself in the center, or I can zoom out. If I want to know the distance to that particular sightings, I can measure it like this, and then I can use the compass to navigate quickly to this location. So I can see the degrees, I can see the distance, and I simply follow this straight line. A very handy feature, especially for example, if someone else has recorded a snare or a kiln, for example, from above, and then the ground team has to visit it. And that's about it.